News 12 local headlines from EPB. This is the place for the latest news from around the Tennessee Valley and North Georgia. Good afternoon, I'm Amelia Greer with a look at your News 12 headlines. This morning, drivers added over an hour to their commute. TDOT crews have been on I-24 West for several hours today. TDOT responded to a patch of fallen concrete on I-24 westbound. It happened in the area of Seminole Drive near McBrien Road. TDOT explains that necessary road work is underway on the bridge over Dodds Avenue. Earlier this morning, the roadway was completely shut down. Now traffic should be moving slowly, but a lane does appear to be blocked, so keep that in mind. Use caution when driving through the area and consider alternate routes if at all possible. For the latest road updates, you can visit TDOT's Smartway cameras and their mobile app. That's a look at one of today's top stories. I'm Amelia Greer. You're watching News 12. See what's happening across the Tennessee Valley on the News 12 Weather Cam Network. With golden sunrises to sailors delight at night, cloudless blue skies to rolling storm clouds. It's streaming live on WDEF.com and on the News 12 News and Weather apps. Check the views before you go to stay ahead of the changing weather, rain or shine. Your eye in the sky and across the Tennessee Valley is the News 12 Weather Cam Network. Powered by EPB. Making it on my own, needing to find me a home, want a place that's beautiful, how can I make it my home, sweet home, Tennessee Valley, that's no more, oh, my home, home. Tibby, I'll see you, my home, sweet Fiber Optics Weather Center, your News 12 AccuWeather forecast. Remarkably dry in the continental United States. Now, I know you've heard about the torrential rain they've had in South Florida especially, but if you take that out of the mix, the majority of the rest of the lower 48 dry as a bone, and the heat wave kicks into high gear beginning tomorrow. More cloud cover today, and that'll keep temperatures just under 90. More sunshine tomorrow will put us a little bit above 90. And then we are into the mid 90s, if not hotter, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Looks like Saturday and Sunday, it's a cinch for the heat index levels to get to 100 degrees or higher. Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik will have more on that in full detail tonight, beginning at 530. 